you here? Why are you in this country? If you're not with us. What if you woke up one morning and your phone is full of hateful messages? How would you feel? I'm here because I want to make a change. Now in Poland, it's really necessary to do something pro-human rights and against the hate speech, which is a big problem. In Slovenia, we have problems nowadays with hate speech against immigrants, against LGBT community, and there are some new media that are being created in order to present narratives of extreme right wings. I have a lot of hopes for the future and I would like to see the world where I live, my local community, a little bit better without the problems that we have today. And I believe that the work that we did here is the first step. The best way to fight hate speech in future is to spread knowledge and deconstruct lies, use a lot of different alternative narratives one of the most amazing uh, alternative narrative uh, has been when our king addressed the whole, the whole nation and talked about how uh, Norwegians are men who love men and women who love women. We Norwegians are all of these things and that we are the ones who make Norway. The way he was talking was so human and so humble that so simple is the, is the message of, of the, the, the unity of a nation or of the world, actually. Yes, there will be hate speech in future, but at least we have learned how to fight it. And I hope that we will be able to decrease amount of hate speech and make a difference. <laughs>